MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. Standing in, Jonathan Villar. He will lead this one off today. Here's the one and one delivery. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan VR. Our temperature a very comfortable 72 degrees as we get things started. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Ready now for the Marlins. Miguel Rojas is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Grounder down the line at third, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit. He would have picked up that backwards day. But the shortstop won't have far to go to haul this one in, and there are two away. The 1 1 home. Strike two swinging. Only one strike away from throwing a very strong first inning to begin the ball game. He looks sharp. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Here now the 2 2. Is laid off and the count runs full. Garrett Cooper would be next. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Another full count pitch on its way. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Albies scoops it up. He'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning. So up steps Ozzy Albies. They'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the three and two pitch. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. Into the box now, Nick Markakis. Ground ball left side. To second for one, back to first, and Markakis bounces into a double play. The next to bat for Atlanta, Freddie Freeman, winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for first baseman in the National League. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. High in the air out to center field. Joyce is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. Here now the 2 2. And he popped him up. Culberson stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Up next for Miami, Brian Anderson. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. There's a line drive base hit to left field. Batting fifth, the center fielder under Stefan, Matt Joyce. Stepping in now, Matt Joyce. Now an off speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger.
all even now two and two. Hernandez won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now. Three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Anderson, the runner at first with two gone. Ramirez. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Head to head with Jose Arena. He's four for 13. He also has one home run. To one and two now. Cooper might try to make a play on it. The one two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for a hit. He's through first and hustling for second. Marcelo Zuna change up just off the black and it's two and one hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat one might be coming right here popped him up Cooper is there makes the play one away so a runner on second with one down now and next to bat will be the catcher Tyler Flowers Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. A throw behind the runner at second. Runner back safely. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. At the plate, Charlie Culberson took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Culberson hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this... Standing in now, Austin no Riley. Way. Pitch is popped up. Cooper shading to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So here now is the pitcher, Felix Hernandez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Jorge Alfaro, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. High in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. He's got it one away. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Jose Arena, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One out, nobody on. Two balls and a strike. I certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Down to three and one. 
hit to first. Freeman's got it, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. The three and one pitch. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. Now that Stepping in, Miguel Rojas. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Liner towards second. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Count two one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favorite three and one. And the count will be full. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Ramirez is there, and he has it for the out. Here's Nick Marcakis now, the right fielder. Lined in the right, a base hit. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. And now, Freddie Freeman. And he lays oh, off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Count even at two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Still even at two and two. From the stretch. First and second now, one man out. To first. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a three to six to one double play, and the side is retired. Now at the play, Corey Dickerson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1-1. One, one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through 4, 5, and 6 right here. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes. Hard hit ball to second. Albies picks it up. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Garrett Cooper. He flew out in his last at bat. Hernandez readies the 1 1. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Now a sinker this time, but this ball stays outside as he loses him here. It's ball four. Digging in, Brian Anderson. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Two.
check by Hernandez. The pitch. This is popped up, but this will land untouched. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back to back walks here with one away. Matt digging in. Matt Joyce. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. The 3 2 pitch. Bullet to first base. So striding in, Harold Ramirez. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Ramirez. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Marcakis has a read on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Stepping in for the Braves, Marcelo Zuna, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. And that misses for ball four to lead off walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Into the box now, Tyler Flowers. And remember, he hit that two run homer his first time up. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. So base is empty now after the double play. And stepping up is the shortstop, Charlie Culberson. Fouled off. Now another one two. Swinging a soft liner. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Now batting. Third base off So now to the plate, Austin Riley. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. At the plate, Jorge Alfaro. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The 2 1 home. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Into the box okay. now, Jose Arena. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. A swing and a ground ball to third. Reined in. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in, Jonathan Villar. It was a walk in his last trip. A 1-1 is in there for the second strike two out nobody on That's a just a bit low a tough call but it's two and two good job to lay off that one two breaking ball put himself right back in this at bat and the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone Now to the plate, the pitcher, Felix Hernandez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1. One, one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Dickerson's there. And that's the first out of the inning. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. 1 for 2 on his line so far in the game. 1-1. 
is a fastball that gets by him. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Into the box, Nick Markakis. Now the 2-1 to Markakis. This is lined to left. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. So that'll extend the inning and let Freddie Freeman come to the plate. Into the box now. Freddie Freeman driven nicely into the gap. Markakis blows through the stop sign, headed for home. Safe at the plate, as it's now a 3-0 ball game. At the plate now, Ronald Acuna. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one-two. Hit hard on the ground is short. He's got it. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Miguel Rojas. A line out and a ground ball for an out on his line so far. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Three and one to the Marlins middle infielder. Great A.B. up to this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Freeman is up with it. A flip to Hernandez is in time to record the out. Now at the plate, Corey Dickerson. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. To two balls and two strikes now. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Garrett Cooper. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Albies brings it in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Yimi Garcia enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 93. Yimi. Bottom of the inning now. Here's Marcelo Zuna. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1 1 home. Swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park, just like he did back in the second. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. Digging in and looking for more, Charlie Culberson. He singled his last time up. Now the three and two pitch. Line to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. Now batting at third base. Austin. Into the box, Austin Riley. Hit back up the middle. VR at the bag, and that retires the side. Riding in, Brian Anderson. Already the beginning of the seventh inning here as this game has had a very brisk pace to it so far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. 
grounded back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. The center fielder, number seven, Matt Joyce. At the plate, Matt Joyce. And this is low, ball two, two and one. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Hit hard back up the middle. And this will be a base hit into center. So the first two are aboard here to kick off the seventh. Now that right fielder, Harold Ramirez. In now, Harold Ramirez to third. Scooped up. Over to Albies. On to Freeman. A double play. At the plate, Jorge Alfaro. No hits to this point. Four men on third with two down. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Josh Rader will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. John Birdie is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. A swing and a deep drive to right. And this one is gone. A home run. To the plate now, Ozzy Albies. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. swing and a shot hit down the corner and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul so a missed opportunity there change up taken for ball three well below the zone on deck is Nick Markakis and he fouls this one off And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Nick Markakis digging in now. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. But the shortstop won't have far to go to haul this one in, and there are two away. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Ronald Acuna would be next. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Joyce. He's there to make the play and that'll retire the side. Luke Jackson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 77. Digging in now, John Birdie. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jonathan VR. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Lifted the other way down the left field line. On the move is Ozuna. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. 
digging in once again. Miguel Rojas. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he comes back with a fastball, 1 and 2 now. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Ryan Stanek is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 55. Ryan. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Ronald Acuna. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And the 2 1. Hit on the ground to short. Reined in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that'll bring up big time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Joyce is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Riding in once again, Tyler Flowers. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Two balls and a strike now. The 2-1 home. Here's a little chopper up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. A.J. Minter comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 33. Ready once again, Corey Dickerson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. This one's down to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So digging in now, Garrett Cooper over two for him to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Fouled off. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now at the plate, Brian Anderson. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Miami down to their last strike. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. Four nothing to score this afternoon. The Braves took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Felix Hernandez earns his first win of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
for the Marlins. No run, three hits, no error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 40 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Braves and everyone at Truist Park, we'd like to thank you for attending and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.